A couple days ago on the community tab, I asked a question on how long you guys think it will take for me to complete a 10 minute oil change challenge. Wow, that took, me, that took a lot of breath. But yeah, I don't think it's gonna take me that long as you guys were saying. I feel like I could do this in like six, six, seven minutes to be honest. But you don't know what could happen when you're changing the oil. You don't know if like something gets stuck. I don't know, bro. I'm just bringing, thing, bringing things up just in case I don't make a seven or six. But yeah, man. Um, I want you guys to leave down below what, what time you guys think it will take for me to do it. I honestly think I'm going to bust it out. Whoa, pause. I feel like I'm going to just get it done real quick and uh, really easy. I usually like to take my time when I do my old change and, you know, relax, play music, stuff like that. But this time, I'm going to speed through it and see what time I can get. If you guys want to do this challenge, you guys could do it too. I would love to watch you guys' videos and see what time you guys could get. See if you guys can even beat my time. Plus, I'm a one-man crew, so this makes it even more challenging. Also, I don't have a lift. I just have jack, a jack stance, and that's it. So, if you have a lift, that's not fair. You're cheating. But yeah, I got the timer on the phone already. Got my jack ready. Uh, my jack stands are up there. So I'm just gonna put everything down, press the timer, and you guys are gonna watch me take off. So let's get it going. All right, so let's move everything out. Uh, get the oil pan right here. It's an oil pan. Let's get the jack out. Ooh. I'm thinking about jacking it up from the front and then put it in the blocks behind. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out a way not to waste too much time. Let's get it started. Um, I'm going to start the timer now. And actually, let me zoom in a little bit more. As soon as, start, as, soon as, ah, as, soon as the timer starts, I'm out. One, two, three, go. I think I already messed up. Okay, put this more in. Oh no. A bit more in. There we go. Already, oh, yeah, that should be good enough. Let's get the jacks on. There we go. Car's now lowered. Let's pop open the hood. Where's my gloves? Ah. Ah. Oh man, my time is gonna be terrible. My time is about to be terrible. Woo. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Let me take off. Oh, filter first. Oh, dang, there's all filter on there, boy. Oh. Oh. Okay, let me get my oil filter wrench. Dang, bro. I think it's on there.
whole filter down. Ugh. Ponies. That. All she needs. And now, just a little bit. This girl put our um video might suck. Now she's gonna need a little bit. Yeah. This is not working out. Oh, oh, I feel my nose. Am I bleeding? Freak, I'm bleeding. I'm not lie, you guys, this challenge is pretty hard. Especially because I can't get this damn dream boat out. I knew this was going to be the hard part. I don't got nothing to use to get this out. Dang, it's already 10 minutes, you guys. Whew. That's, this is, this is stressful. This is real deal stressful and I'm bleeding, which makes it worse. All right guys, so I guess this 10 minute challenge is a fail for me. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna take me that long as you guys were saying. Cause it's definitely not taking 10 minutes. It's already past 10 minutes and I'm bleeding. So I guess, <laughs> I guess I can't do this challenge. I mean like, it's no point in me even going on anymore. Boom, timer, that's crazy. At least I got the car jacked up and the oil filter removed. But man. Alright, so I'm just see how long it takes me takes for me to, to do my oil change. How about that? Let's see how long it takes for me just to change the oil. Boom. Let's go. Woo! Right now I'm in so much pain, like my nose hurts so bad. The reason why I can't really use my breaker board to take off the drain board like I always do is because I honestly think I don't I didn't jack the car high enough. I usually jack, jack the car way higher than this. But since I was trying to rush to do this dang challenge, that didn't even work out. Oh. All right, so oil's pretty much finished. Now I gotta take that drain board, come here, and swap it out with the new one that I don't know exactly where I put. If your drink, if your, uh, if your crush washer don't come out easily, that means you definitely put it on too tight. Like this one right now is not gonna come off. It's not gonna come off without a fight. I have another washer. I just don't remember where I put it now. Dang. After a thousand years, I finally got this stupid washer off. Now I gotta clean around it. Check out the washer shavings. I need to get a new drain bolt. In general, anyways. So now. I don't even know what my washer was. The washer that I had. Oh my goodness. Oh, here it is. Now I'm gonna see if this washer fits without any issues. Okay. Fit pretty smooth. Now what I'm gonna do is just get some oil. This turned into a 10 minute oil change challenge into how to change your oil challenge. Which is, which is ridiculous. I feel disappointed in myself. But I will still love to see you guys try to do this. 
because it's not as easy as you think unless you got all the tools and you got a proper surface to be doing this on and not this surface right here Ugh. but man man oh man i can't believe i really slapped myself in my nose so now since i got that back in i'm definitely not trying to get it back up with the grace of god with the great night with the grace with the power of thor i'm not tying that back up too much Ooh, that's loosening guy. Right? All right. Come on, get back tight. This is why I wish I had my my short 17, because this big 17 kind of like it's too big. Ah, that should be fine. Do it one more time. Yeah, that should be good. So the oil that I'm using is Valvoline VR1 1030 uh, 1030 the uh, Valvoline VR1 1030 Bro, Valvoline VR1 1030 30 10 1030. Oh my gosh. 10W30. There we go. Yeah, bro. So I'm, I'm switching from what I used to use, which was some Amscot, I said Amscot, Amsoil. Reason why I'm switching over is because I do want to try this out. Everybody talks how good it is on E85 and stuff like that. And this car is mostly on E85 most of this time, like it's sitting and most of the time when I drive it. Only time I really go back to 93 is when I can't find an E85 station. So yeah, I would love to see the benefits of burning this oil because everybody talks so highly over this because of the high zinc and stuff. Now, if you do, if you guys do have a cat, uh, like not like a meow, but like a cat on your car, like for your exhaust, I don't recommend running this because they say that this will mess up with the cat. And I am catless, so I don't have a meow, 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 meow and I don't have, and I don't have a cat on my downpipe. <sighs> so I'm good to go. So right now, well, when I looked, it was 13 minutes. So I'm pretty sure it will take me like 25 minutes to do an oil change, which is still not too bad. If I didn't have the difficulties I was having, like if I couldn't, if I, if I was able to take out the drain bowl, I'd probably be able to do it in 15 minutes, but you guys see what happened. And that's cool that this oil is blue. I don't know if you guys could pick that up on camera, but the oil is blue. That, that's pretty dope five minutes later all right guys so i forgot to press stop on the timer i forgot he was even running and now it's 32 minutes i've been finished this freaking oil change it's probably when i last checked when i was pouring in the oil when i was pouring in the oil yeah when i was pouring in the oil it was like 14 minutes and i was finished pouring it so it probably took me like 20 minutes to do this so that extra 12 minutes is, is default i'm not i'm not taking that it's not it's not it's not part of this challenge it's not even a challenge anymore. I just want to see how long it will take me. But yeah, Dusty now can start up. Um, yeah, bro. I just got to start up and that's really it. But man, I think I'm going to have the video right here. If you guys do want to do this challenge, actually look at my nose. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it was bleeding so much. It eventually stopped after I kept putting the pressure on it. But yeah, I had the breaker bar smack me in my nose. Yeah, that, that really hurt. Like, my whole nose hurt right now. But this is why I ran off the video. If you guys enjoyed it. Actually, no. Nah, let me show you guys the startup. I want to hear how Dusty start up on this new oil. I want to hear how, how different she sounds. So, let's get the startup real quick. I ain't really trying to put myself in the car too much because I am kind of filthy. So. Sounding good. I don't see no leaks. 
All right, guys. So this is where I'm at off the video, man. Officially ending it off. If you guys enjoyed it, even though this video was like all over the place, I hope it was just entertaining to you guys. But yeah, man, that 10 minute challenge is not as simple as you think, especially if you're doing it by yourself and you don't have a lift. And some parts don't, not some parts, but like if you don't got enough space under the car, you can't get enough leverage to break off. Don't break. I'm just tired, bro. You don't get enough leverage to uh, loosen the drain bolt. So that was my problem. That's why I honestly think I couldn't do it in 10 minutes. I feel like if I had a little bit more room, I would have did it. Come on now. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram, underscore got the soda. And your boy's out. Peace.